welcome to the Cap Guy Show, starring JT and the Cap Guy. Now here's the Cap Guy. Fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars. What, JT? What? What are you doing? I'm dancing and singing. Well, why are you singing that song? Because you sold a uh, We Dance 2014 game. Okay, well, I don't think Fly Me to the Moon's on that game. It's not. I'm Macarena. I don't even know the words. But Macarena, you got the idea. Well, that's not a, probably on there either. Play that funky music, white boy. Play that funky music, right? No. 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 All my exes lit. No. 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 Those aren't on there. What the heck songs are, what's it good for? <laughs> it's for, for the younger folks. Oh. All right. Well, anyway. It's time for the Cap Guy Show, starting a Cap Guy over here, and me, I'm JT, and we live in Oklahoma, home of Garth Brooks. Oh, I got friends in low. Okay, JT. Man, you're a ball humbug kind of guy. Man. Thanks for the new subscribers. KJ, Landshark Picker, we appreciate you, and everybody else that we can't see because you got it on private or whatever reason it is, but Victoria, Nana, thank you for your channels and all the help. Grabbing subscribers, Emily Conway, everybody. We appreciate you. Y'all are good people. Out Country Sales, a bunch of others. And um, check all these YouTubers out. We appreciate you, Lonnie, always. As always, we appreciate you, Shed Flips, Garage Flips. Can he make up his mind? <laughs> it's mostly Shed Flips now. Garage Flips is when he's picking. Oh, all right. Well, then there you go. Can we get another channel so I can have my own channel? <laughs> no. You probably get more subscribers than me. That's probably true. <laughs> and probably kids, though. You can't comment on kid channels. <sighs> All right, Jeffy. I'm not Jeffy. I ain't got no pencil on my nose. I like green beans. Let's get all what we sell, folks. Have a great day. Tune in. <laughs> Those of you new to the channel, you probably just think I need to be committed, but I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, thanks for the new subscribers. We appreciate you. And try to get to 500 and then halfway to 1,000. One of these days before I go in the nursing home, I'll probably get to 1,000. But uh, if you like what I, I'm doing, let me know. Comment below. And I'm trying to fix a cord so I don't wrap it up in my chair. It's attached to my phone. I guess I'll just unplug that. But uh, yeah, 15 sales yesterday. I'm going to get into them right now. And again, it's about the diversity of the goods. Don't just sell a couple items. Have a lot of different things in your store or on eBay if you don't have a store. I have a premium store. And uh, of course, 3,500 plus listings, you almost have to to get, not to be eat up with eBay fees and uh, ate up, whatever. Anyway, let's get on with the show. Hope you enjoy it. Thumbs up. Please uh, view, like, share, subscribe, and uh, we will talk to you here in a moment. All right, we're going to get into the sales I've had so far today. And um, the first one is a Micronet IDT 3000. And I got this at a church sale. There was a bracket. Didn't have any of the cords, but I don't know what this is. It's some kind of a GPS system, I think. But somebody in England bought it. I paid about a buck for it because it was in a $5 bag deal at a church only because it had the, uh, still had the film on it. Did I pick it up? And for that price, I ran it on an auction. It never got any bids. So I didn't know what the real value would be. So I put it on there for $15.99 and it sold within a week. And I made, of course I'd be having to look for that now. Thirteen twenty three was my profit. Next is another of the Marvel Thor Loki Funko Pops. I bought a bunch of these. I'm down to eight left. I was in profit after the first four. I'm selling them for $22 with free shipping. And um, on this one, I made $12.03 profit. The next is a vintage lot 
It's Charlie Brown's Cyclopedia. And there's 15 books in a the set. There you go. And I bought this at a yard sale where I bought a bunch of uh, pal or pen pals and uh, babysitter club books. And I paid about $10 for two boxes. And uh, the babysitter club books sold quickly and for good money. I had some other golden books, child book uh, books and different themes. Uh, Christmas, those already sold. And, but this one, um, I had for, I paid seven fifty. I saw a watcher. I sent out an offer for thirty eight seventy nine. It was already on a 12% off sale plus media mail. And I made twenty five twenty five off the books. The next is, uh, I picked this up for 50 cents at a barn sale. I was going to keep it and I threw it on there and I probably should have just kept it because I didn't make much on it. 50 cents in for this one pound bag of uh, grilling pellets, Jack Daniels. I tried to drink them or eat them, but they didn't help. So anyway, just kidding. Uh, I sold these for eleven seventy four with free shipping and they went over a pound. So I only made two ten. They went in a flat rate. The next is Just Dance for We 2014. I typically don't pick these up, but this one comp fairly well. And, um, uh, I paid a dollar to yard sale for this, sold it for thirteen sixty three plus shipping, and I made ten ninety two on it. So I'll take that off a video game. The next is Grand Theft Auto. It is the trilogy, meaning that it has Vice City, San Andreas, and Grand Theft Auto three for PlayStation two. I had sold this once before, and it got to the the buyer, and he goes, "Oh, I, I messed up. I didn't read it closely. I bought it. I meant to get it on another platform." So he returned it, and I returned his money minus shipping because it was his mistake, and uh, put it back on. I paid nine ninety nine on a at a Goodwill the day they opened, probably a little more than I probably should have paid for a trilogy like that. But I ended up selling it for twenty eight ninety nine plus shipping, and I made sixteen twenty on it. The next is a Dallas Cowboy hoodie. Uh, paid five dollars for this. It's a adult small. Nothing special other than it's Cowboys. And um, I'm sorry, $3 what I paid for it. Sold it for $14.02 plus shipping and I made $9.42 off of it. The next is a Disney Baby. Have you seen Mickey? Uh, Jack in the Box. And I don't know how many of you and your ages, but it does work. That your kids or your grandkids have seen these kind of things. You don't see them, I don't think, as prevalent as you used to. But this one's from 2014. It's not that old. Had it in the 12% off sale. I had uh, 69 cents invested. I got this at the Goodwill bins. Sold it for $13.20 plus shipping, and I made $10.66 profit off of it. The next is a Nike women's hat. It's It's got like a carpet texture, shag carpet on the, the letters, and they're multicolored. So, uh, and it's pink in the back and got the Nike logo here. And it's a strap back type hat or adjustable. And I uh, paid $2 at a yard sale. Sold this for $16 plus shipping. $12.68 was my profit. The next I just listed a couple days ago when I listed a bunch of games. I bought this so probably over a month ago. It's PS4 Skylander Imaginators. It's just the case and the disc, no manual. I paid um, $0.50 cents for this at that yard sale. I bought a bunch of those kind of games for $0.50 cents a piece, which is... Actually, a pretty good deal just about for any video game. I sold this for $23.99 plus free shipping and made $17.09 profit. The next is a Shut DNA Recruit Youth Large. If you find adult helmets, they sell for a lot more money than the youth, but depending on the brand, if it's a Shut Vengeance or or uh, Rydell, those, those sell for decent money. I kept dropping this one down trying to get rid of it. I paid five bucks at a yard sale. It has a Y on it, which is the town I live in, Yukon, Oklahoma, home of Mr. Garth Brooks, uh, Miller's Football. And uh, anyway, I paid uh, $5, sold it for $37 plus shipping, and I made $28.76 off that. The next is a Cherish Teddy's 1998 trinket box with a sailor on it. The only reason I picked it up is because it was a sailor on it, and I'm next Navy, so I grabbed it, but I didn't plan on keeping it. And it's just a little trinket box. And there you go, 1998. And uh, it's a Nesco. And a Nesco makes Friends of the Feather and other things that are pretty popular and pretty collectible. So $2 in, $13.99 sold, plus shipping, 
I made 1043 profit. The next is a Tommy Hilfiger hoodie. Um, nothing special. I don't normally do real good with Tommy unless it's a vintage piece. Um, I got a question tonight from somebody and said, can you guarantee it to me by Friday in South Carolina? Well, I'm in Oklahoma. I ship every day, including Saturdays. But right now with the Christmas, and I basically told them I can't guarantee it. It will go priority and it will leave in the morning, Tuesday morning. But due to the heavy Christmas rush and COVID, I can't guarantee it, but likely it'll make it. But no guarantees. And they bought it because I guess I was honest and just told them. I do ship every day, including Saturdays. And that's regardless of whether it's Christmas season or not. I think that's the customer service thing you need to do. But anyway, I paid $7.37 a while back for this. During the summer, I sold it for $18.25 plus shipping. Flat rate envelope and I made $7.43. And the last thing I've sold so far tonight are these sloggers. They're kind of a water winter type shoe. Um, they're not insulated or anything, but they're pretty cool. And uh, women's size 10. I got these at a yard sale this summer for 50 cents. Sold them for $23.99 plus shipping. Went in the shoe box and I made $19.46. So, so far, and I haven't uh, finished the day yet, but I'm over, uh, I'm just under 300 in sales. So I'll take it 14 sales so far. And I will be back with you when my sales continue. See you in a bit. All right, I ended up with one more sale prior to midnight. I've had a couple uh, right after midnight, so you'll see those tomorrow. And uh, this one was PS4, The Evil Within. I paid 202 at Goodwill for this. Sold this for $20.99 with free shipping. I made $12.87 profit. So on the day, my sales, I had 15 sales, $42.57 in cost of goods, three twelve fifty seven in total sales, and my profit yesterday was two o eight sixty five. I'll take it every day, all day. All right, I'm back. Good sales, and I'll take it. One hundred fifty is my target a day in profit. I exceeded that again. Some days you win, some days you lose, but. Most of the time here lately, of course, it's fourth quarter and Christmas and things are starting to take off. And I hope your sales are doing well as well. And um, now we'll, I got three sales this morning, including a plush I just sold, 26 cents into $70. Tune in tomorrow to see that one. Um, it's the second one of this particular type and genre that I've sold recently for at least $70. So don't pass on the plush, folks. Tune in tomorrow and I'll show you what I got. I'm going to get out of here, get busy. I'm going to do some more listing. I've been working on video game stuff and uh, listed a bunch last night. And I'm going to continue to work on that pile over there of 600 plus. <laughs> so some need cleaning, some don't. I just got to comp them again. And that's the delay and everything. And then get them up. It don't take long to list a video game, but you got to make sure it's right. Appreciate you folks. And the new subscribers, the people been with me since the beginning. Don't forget the giveaway. I'm about uh, 15 away from 500, and then I'll do another one at 1,000 subscribers. And I'm about 1,000 hours away from 4,000, so check me out. I may go live at any time. Keep your notification bell on. Talk to you tomorrow, folks. Cap Guy and JT, we're out.